FIFA, you cheating FIFA. FIFA. You cheating, Susia. Yo, FIFA, you cheating FIFA. Let's go, Susia. <laughs> we talking American? What are you? We can't curse, right? We talking American. We can't curse? <laughs> A lot, a lot. This ain't for the church? That's right there. Don't right, come on, son. I thought don't we were worry. sponsored. Yo, Photoshop the left side of my neck. She don't want to be seen in the Call public eye. Call her right now. Oh FaceTime her. FaceTime her right now. FaceTime her right now. Next <laughs> subject. Niggas. I'm free! I'm free, dead ass, bro. I be the next time I'm going to choke your ass up. Thank you. So you're going to get fucked up. I put a kid in that right there. That's the name, Aggie? From the bid act. Uh, Aggie? I bet. Ivory, Ivory. Ivory? Woo! <laughs> Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Yo, fuck your life. Aggie. Welcome to Outside with Gorilla Nims, episode 736. <laughs> yeah. We live in Coney Island, January 14th, 2023, in front of the Fuck Your Life store. This is the grand opening. Today is the day. It's taken three months to get here, but we absolutely here. Absolutely here. It's, it's 32 degrees out, but in Coney Island, it feels about 19 degrees right now. It's freezing. This honestly might be the last time we outside, outside <laughs> for, the, for the next couple months. I'm not doing this for y'all nah, every we fucking gotta be week. Y'all Yo, fucking. Clap it up for Fuck y'all. Yeah, clap it up. Clap clap it up. The grand clap open, the, the fucking floor, life man. store. Back, that's a lot of work. It's now open. Bing bong. Everything I rock, I can G on it with the Rilla head. If you in New York City and you don't shop here, one, you pussy. Two, you wild pussy. Three, you fucking <laughs> severely fucking syphilis pussy. Right? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yo. But look, it's open now. Today's the grand opening. It's always going to be open seven days a week. Uh, 1612 Mermaid Avenue. I took the vaccine last week and this happened. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck happened. Right now. Like, it's fucking abnormal, but uh, my heart went so to the right of me. We got a very special guest, special Ed guest, special Ed guest. <laughs> I just want to rock, rock, rock. Hey, rock, 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 hey. His feet rock, hasn't rock, touched rock, the floor. Oh, 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 we got oh, Destroy oh, in the house. Yeah, How you doing? He's a real one. Life is amazing. Right Go tongue down. To the home. right of him, we got fucking freaking frack. Woo! That's right. Yeah. <laughs> let's start. Let's start with the fucking drip check today. I got my fucking gorilla hands. I'm taking these off. I'm done with these. Actually, these shits was mad warm. I should have kept them on. I know you should. But uh, look, today grand opening. We got the gorilla shiesty. If you're not in New York, you can get these at fyl.nyc. But we starting with the classic black Tims. We got the fucking the jeans by motherfucking cult of individuality. Yo, they got some fire jeans, these brands. Yeah, those shit's they hugging your calves, too. <laughs> Yo, hugging my, all jeans hug my, I got fucking calves like fucking <laughs> giraffe necks. Yeah, shit's yeah, a screamer like, right like, now. Butter, like butter beans. We got the Carhartt jacket. I'm the Carhartt guard right now. Like, yo, I was, I was, I was thinking, I was like, yo, I, I only got like four types of jackets. I got mad FYL jackets. Second, I got mad Carhartt jackets. Carhartt, if you're watching this, Send a pack over for us, man. Let's go, you know man. We could do a collab too in the store. Third, I got Matt Averexes and I got Matt, a couple Jeff Hamiltons. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Hamilton, send a package over. Nah, Jeff Hamilton. <laughs> we could do it. <laughs> yo, security, what happened? Yo, yo, security. Uh, yo, come yo, on, man. Follow. Um, Look, asshole. Asshole. Oh, Pablo, you dead ass? Come on, man. Yo, yo, yo Nems, Nems. Doc Security. Doc yeah, Security. Yeah, yeah, doc. Yeah, then we got FYL, Fuck Your Life to the Casket Drop hoodies. You can get them in here. And we got the Fuck Your Life snapback. What you wearing, Destroy? Uh, stolen. Stolen. <laughs> I got a, you can't see, but I got my ex-girl's uh, Fajas on to keep me warm. Fajas. I got a, a, a diamond Bugs Bunny thing because of my gems. Some gloves that my, my ex gave me. <laughs> And uh, she was a beer, huh? Yeah, a, B. Yeah. You know, Titi at Bingo, she came up. But nah, B. <laughs> I'm out here. I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking cool. 
once you boost, you never stop. You got the itch. That's <laughs> that's really like the bad thing about about um, boosting. I don't know if you guys ever did, but what's up with that money? Itch. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. B, you know me. I gotta represent for us. B, people who look like me of uh, <laughs> Latino descent. Yo, you got yeah, ankle yeah. socks on too. I got ankle socks. Look at yo, B. I ain't lying. B, you think I'm lying, son? Uh, I'm telling you, you, got Titi's fucking stockings yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm out here, son. Dogs in case a handball game pops up. We out here, son. <laughs> yo, B, y'all gotta you bring. Can't get out. You can't get out. Yo, B. This is about to get crazy. Get wow. Crazy, son. <laughs> Pops, what you rocking, man? Uh, I got the Barclays. They coming out next year again. I'm gonna get two pairs again. Yo, them. they mad hard to put on, bro. They, for me, too. I struggle to put struggling. them shits on, like bro. Two, you got to get a size higher. That's I'm already a 12, so I don't want to be wearing 13s. You crease the shits up and... Bro, whatever you wear, you're going to crease it anyway. Yeah, facts. You right. All right, I got uh, some jeans from Vims or some shit. Fire. I got the... Vims, son. Uh, right down yeah. there. Yo, that's why y'all came nice today. Y'all y'all do the little drip tech. Yeah, yeah. I could have yeah. came in my fucking nice. Sweet 16 outfit. My get some head out here. Yeah, he didn't know it was going to be on camera. Easter. Yeah, uh, B, I thought right, this shit. My turn. I got the Kip. <laughs> <laughs> the Kip Jetsons hoodie and the Supreme hat and coat because it's freezing, bro. Yeah. You not cold? Fuck it. Of course, B. Right. All right, Yo, guys. Dick's the Dawn. What you wearing? Woo. Wearing? So I got some 700s on. I got a Carhartt bib. I got a no label. That's a jacket. new car hall bib because it's yeah, fresh. Yeah, brand new. This, I call this the Thriller in Manila envelope. That's what I call nah, it. Nah, that's the immigrant. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. fold that shit and return like it. Like if something happens, They gave I'll it to him it. when he crossed the border from Venezuela. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Nah, nah, everybody one. laughed except for you. One. Oh, for one. No, oh, for one. Yo, you all for one. I laughed. Look, look, he made it. All right, all right, all right. He the thumbs up. I won. He felt Oh, he's from Venezuela. Yeah, that's why. BFOS from Venezuela. Oh, I got a Los Angeles graffiti. Hat. Salute, uh, yo, yo, your turn is over, bro. Yo, bad, yo, you missed, it. Yo, you missed it, bro. Like you missed it, bro. You missed it. This is over. <laughs> I got a 96 Yankee fitted with the G pin. We're gonna go in here and spend some bread when this is over, too. So, I like that. Right. Yeah. Finish shit. So, look. <laughs> yo, who the fuck is this? This nigga. Y'all niggas know what time it is. <laughs> yo, yeah. give him a live action. Live action. Live action. <laughs> 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 yo, so we was having, we were saying the guests, right? And we was like, Paz knows about Destroy, but Six was, I said, yo, we have a Destroy on it, man. That should probably be the best episode. Yo, Six said, yo, who, why? Who the fuck is Destroy? I didn't know who he was. Fuck, this. you ain't watched the Lion King documentary? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen my mom put a razor in the mouth? Yeah, yeah. I, like I, ain't I ain't see it, I ain't see it. You ain't see the history that's our song, my nigga? I, I, song, one, nigga. <laughs> I see you riding with a goat, that's it. That's what we do, son. <laughs> you gotta post that video again. I gotta post that video again. I didn't get a release form from the goat. Yo, he used to <laughs> he used to have a show on Shade 45, but they deaded him. No, I did. I got a show on uh, Wednesdays, man. Let's go. It's, it's oh, what? Control or destroy. That's what we doing over here. On Shade 45? On Shade 45. He got demoted. He had an everyday show. You this is his number one it's station. Ding. There we go. I got show off your gems, too, where we got Hey, collected. yo. Hey, yo. And then I'm going to be hosting at the Super Bowl. For the seventh time and for the twelfth time, the NBA All Star Game. You haven't heard of me though. Ah, oh, Life Flex, Life Flex. Yo. I gotta tell people, man, if you are not, if you never been to this wonderful city, it's super diverse. Even though it's not represented in a lot of Hollywood films, like uh, uh, Two Broke Girls. Even though a Latino never walked into that diner, there's a <laughs> lot of us out here. So all you people who are in Middle America and in the West Coast, if you know who we are and the brand that we are, we were here in the beginning of hip-hop culture and uh, we're still present i just want to know everybody culturally that we've been out here that uh, that our likeness we've been holding down the hoods from uh you know whip yeah, a yeah, whip yeah. to, to Spicks, tony tone uh, you know yeah, to, like latinos that. been been a part of the conversation from the beginning from the grit and we were a, a stick of kids for a lot of these rappers who weren't ready to do their own time, so. I did the history. When the slave masters was taking the slaves from Africa over, they also went to the Caribbean and they had slaves. Or so when they went to the Caribbean, well, they, went they landed to the Caribbean on Puerto Rico. First. Yeah, and they right. landed on Puerto right, right. Rico or DR and they, the slaves brought over, like they treat, they, the, the Taino and the, and the Arawak was slaves too. And we all, you know, they, they, you know, they all fuck. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's no, how. No, they, 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 they got murdered, pillaged, and raped. Yup. And uh, they killed off so many Taínos and the original people that they needed more people to do the slave work. And who, who did they have to go? They had to go and, 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 and uh, the Spaniards 
brought in the Africans to cover for those that they've murdered and pillaged. So when you guys look at the first uh, 1890, these dudes got that's me doing history. That's a mad genocide. 1492. No, no, no. That's that's Columbus. This is when they. <laughs> this is when America takes over Puerto Rico. This is uh, 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 18. 99, I gotta tell you guys, uh, the first guy who they made president, ends up president for three months, takes up all the sugar land, sells it to Domino's. So whenever you guys go to Brooklyn and you see it and you see Domino's uh, sugar, Hold up, you heard you'll the, know you heard that the it comes from. That? See, I'm over here trying to yeah, drop I love the fire knowledge. truck just packed. Man, no, the get off your own fucking pipe, fucking pipe B. Right, you over here talking it's American talk. Domino's sugar. When you yeah, buying Domino sugar. Shit. Oh, like uh, on fire. Wikipedia shit that I said. <laughs> Yo, you see, because you, you from Bushwick. I'm from Arkansas. You from, the official, <laughs> you from the official Bushwick back in the day. I'm from, yeah, Buck 50 Bushwick. Hipsters don't know what we're doing See, over there. See, they just took the avenue of Puerto Rico. And they put down, it right? back, they you piece of back. shit. Listen, yeah, if they I took Malcolm X Boulevard off of Harlem, there would have been a fucking riot. If you back. go if you go deeper into Graham, it's called Val uh, Gauss. Via Vespucci. Right, if they took that out, oh my God. I'm going to tell you, man, all Latinos need to stand together. That is if you are from El Salvador, if you're from Peru, all of us got to hold each other down, man, a as a people, as a culture, because we are important in the whole demographic, not only in New York City or all Brooklyn. All minorities, period. It's just all, all over. I just think I'd like to see a little bit more, more uni unity amongst us. Facts. That's a fact. So, yeah, they tried to take that out. They gentrified the city. My mother had to move because they pushed her out. The shit was a tire shop. That's where my parents had unprotected sex at. Like, <laughs> come on, let them live. And then they had to move out because shit got too expensive. Ex expensive and So you was born in a tire shop like baby Jesus in the manger. Damn. There you go. That's what he said. Baby Jesus. That's baby a fact. Jesus. On a couch with a dirty pit bull pregnant and, no, no and a goat. There's a rubber there's shop. Rubber. There's no rubbers. There was no rubbers. What are we doing? Everybody's having unprotected sex. You got a sex, knife in your back and a dick in your butt. Which would you pull out first? I'll leave it there, B. I like, hey, I yeah. like to have a good time. This is a good time. Nobody entertains wow. me no more, B. <laughs> this shit going for real. I, yeah. I went Yo, around the world. You don't even back. know that destroy. It's nicer than a lot of the rappers out here. <laughs> Let's tell them about I your never career heard before him. you was a fucking Super oh, Bowl shit. host. I used to, uh, so oh. I was, I, I used to battle in, uh, you know, West, you know, West Fourth, of course, New York, and all those days. I was in a group called the Arsonists, you know, for all my special ed students. They call us the astronauts. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun, man. Got to, got to run the table in Europe. You know, the whole Fat Beats era, 1990, when uh, this shit wasn't cool to say you was a rapper. That's when I was doing it, you know, giving out flyers for clubs with Tony Touch, Touch and Destroy, that, that was my first group. And, uh, you know, we was doing this, man, early. Had a lot of fun, and, and I'm just happy to, to, to be here and continue elevating the culture. But, uh, you know, I haven't said it, but I do want to say congratulations on uh, the store, man. It really, really Facts. dope. I don't like I, you as a person, but as a business guy, it's really dope. Facts, but fuck what you got going on, Paz. Tell the people how you snitched on your men. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, nah, nah, I ain't snitch on him. Get out of here. Yo, tell a story. It's already out in the open now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Now you got to tell a story. I know what's going on now. <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, bro. Wait, Tell the story how you snitched on your man. All right, I'm, I'm drunk. We, it's like six of us. It's Yo, you all right, bro? You're talking monotone. Speak with, put some bass in your fucking voice. You just told me my mic is good. Uh, he ain't even good. paying attention to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to whisper. It's good, it's good. All right, my God. Get to it. All right, so uh, police pulled me over. I'm slapped, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the job sanitation, too, so you know a, a DUI is dangerous. Facts. Pulled me over, the cops like, what's going on? Where you guys going? <laughs> so I told the cop, yo, what's worse? A DUI or the dude in the back seat got cocaine in his sock? <laughs> but I ain't know, I ain't know he really had cocaine in his Oh, as a joke? He, said, he was yeah, saying the joke, joke in the room. joke. The cop, look, but went, yo, the kid in the back is really a cokehead, though. Yeah, facts. That's my That's man. our man. That's our man. He yeah, yeah. always So you accidentally up. snitched on him? Yeah, I ain't know. That nigga face, though, told me. He was like this. And the cop looked at me and went, ha, ha. Yeah, man, get out of here. <laughs> yes! Oh. Yes, please. Yeah, how was son how was son that was sitting in the window? We Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh. It's in a book, a reading know. rainbow. I can't go anywhere. 
Right? Yo, what's up with you today, bro? Bro, yeah, so, it's mad freeze. Yo, 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 uh, I texted him yesterday. I said, yo, we got to make the, this podcast 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. I was going to text you, and I know he would have been like, ah, fuck your life. Stop being a bitch. What the fuck? That's what I, I said, like, right? Oh yo, yo, nah, the next episodes, we're going to start. What's up? Yo. Yo, I thought she was in a Jordan <laughs> Peele movie. Yeah. Staring at me like that. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I thought this was us. Holy Yo, shit. Yo, what the Manelli. fuck? That's the glizzy gladiator right there. Yeah. Yo, so anyway, this is the last episode like this. From This is how we're going to be still outside. What are the ways that we could be outside without having to do this shit? Yeah. Then it's I fake. Said, it's fake. Nah, it ain't fake. We're going to get a Sprinter van, do the podcast from the Sprinter van. Because, look, I could say us... I can handle it for Nah, hours. there's a heater. There's there's a little Super Bowl heater. For real, all jokes aside, when we do outdoor events, they got a heater that'll, it'll come yeah, out. Yeah, but that shit'd be up. mad loud. Nah, 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 it is. it really isn't, but it's all good. All right. Some people know. But what I love about this, because I was thinking about it, it's called We Outside, right? Right. And then I will... No, 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 it's called Outside, it's called outside with Gorilla Nims. Gorilla Nims, all right, get, get that correct. Yeah, yeah, Please get that for real, together. pop. So listen, what I love about it is that we are we are in a time when everybody is really scared to go outside because they got comfortable on their couch. And and uh, you know, you need to go outside. The reason why is because even if you're an OG, what perspective are you coming from if you ain't you ain't with the people? If you ain't out there in the streets, if you ain't out there at the clubs, if you ain't being told no to your face, then you a sucker. And that's the difference. <laughs> nah, that's real. a fact though. That's for a real. fact. For real. You know, this is this is the time. So you know, being outside is a real thing. I want to ki- hear your albums if you're staying comfortably in your own house and all your experiences come from the internet. Nah, fam. I don't care what you did 10, 20 years ago or five years ago. You got to be out here and be present. Well, well, I have you done. What well, have you done for me lately? Let's go. Let's Yo, go. so yeah, I'm, I'm just, we're going to have to do it from a Sprinters from a fire. sprinter. Leave the door open. And we kind of, we outside. Like fucking kidnappers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you. around the, the door. Because <laughs> look, we can do it, but the Dang guests bus. ain't trying to do that shit. Yo, bro, they got the lamps. Be with the heat, son. That's what I said. They got the Come outdoor on, shit. Let's go. Y'all, y'all don't we'll go to Home outside. Depot. Y'all don't booze. Nah, we'll the next we episode, we're going to do an episode when it snows. We're going to put the, the garbage can, light it on fire. Like the bums in the 80s. Yeah, and then we're going to be choking with dead rats in the bottom of the yeah, fucking hey, garbage yo. can, B. Yo, what's up? Why you don't got yo, sideburns? Why, why you negative today, bro? Because <laughs> he, he don't got sideburns. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to come by. I was going to give him a high five. <laughs> yo, you ever took a shit in the water? Bro, I took a shit everywhere. Yo, you do an upper decker. You, I went to Jamie, Jamie what the Fox's fuck is house. Upper decker? And you take the top of the, the toilet thing out, you shit in the top of the thing. That's what it's called, the upper decker. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a tank? We do. Shit. In a tank? <laughs> it's America, V. I'm allowed to Yo, do that if I want. Yo, but how do you sink? sit on that? I'm on a sink in a club. You don't sit, V. It's a skydive, V. You have to stay there. <laughs> and hope it just goes where it got to go. No parachute. Let's no, no, <laughs> hey, never gonna figure that out that is in there. It, hey, that's the great <laughs> thing. Yeah. Nah, till they shit clogs up and they open it, be like, oh, oh shot by then it probably disintegrate. By then, yeah. It's in mad see. water, bro. Nah, 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 that shit gonna... That's like bioterrorism, <laughs> bro. That's <crazy. laughs> that shit gonna be a bomb. Let's go. I need somebody to do that. <laughs> that shit gonna be a bomb. No, but serious, have you ever shit in a pool of water in the beach? You in the beach, in the beach. Puerto Rican? I, I, yeah, B, I, 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 I B. pissed in the chick's bong. I did it, you know. <laughs> you do a bunch of things, B. It's fucking twice. But have you ever shit in the water, Pop? Took a shice in the water. Yeah. Right. Yes. Where? Right here. Coney Island? Fair. Come on. Damn, that's the doing? shit. That's the shit water. Yo, B, right there. listen. When you come in the cold, when you go to the beach you had overnight. Paper? You had toilet paper? Yo, you rich, nigga? You, <laughs> y'all got toilet paper out here? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing a key food magazine, B. That's all I'm doing. You're doing the campo, up. campo. Yo, the only way they, they, you let them in is if they're going into the store. That's the only way you can let them in. Nico, you going in the store? Go ahead. Holy shit. While we doing the pod. Let's go. So, yeah. That's shit. You never, yeah. you, know, you know, you do things, B. I took a shit in the pool in Puerto Rico, Pop. In the motherland. Damn, son. That's foul, That's right? Foul. That's foul, B. And then he blamed it on a little bit. When pack. I see you, I'm going to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Six, you mad quiet with that little fucking, uh, 
<laughs> with that little bib on. Yeah. Like, look, I got my hand. Yo, in six. Here. Today's the anniversary of the TV show Taina. You remember that shit? <laughs> nah, I don't. Taina. Yo, she she nah, looked alright too. I'm serious? I'm dead ass. Yo, you know who told me I'm about like, that show? Nah, you know who told me about that show? My girl. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> His girl. <laughs> Yo. He what? got a girl. Was she at the party? His birthday? Thank oh yeah, you was there. I was there. Where were you? Ah, ah, unfollow. Ah, unfollow. Ah, Report to spam. Report to Spain. Report to Spain? You said report to Spain. To spam. Damn, come on, man. Where's your gloves? Where's your gloves? Yo, every episode he got to get wasted, you heard? Waste. Right there, he's look, wasted. Look, look at the gloves waste. he got. Trash, yeah. son. Look, he got electricity. Oh, ah, look at him. Straight naughty by nature. <laughs> Those are the cake. You can oh, get, get it, Pops. <laughs> Damn, Pops. My heart hurt. Damn. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, locking out here, yeah. son. Oh, 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 Thorn. Good. Go. Shit, they got to go. Bang, <laughs> bang. Hey, hey, hey. Let some Greek I snitch out. Whoa. Pass it over to him. Hey. Oh. 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 Wasted. No. Stone Coley. Oh. 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 <laughs> You're out of to the face. To the face, yeah. So <laughs> let's go. Yeah, hey, look. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Yo, this is out of control, too. This is what we do. If your man had a brain, you gonna spend money with him? If my ha man had a brain? A brain, a brain. A brand, bro. Fuck oh, your a brand. brand. Yo, I hate people Absolutely. that ask for discounts. Nah, you know what it is? Is that sometimes there's a, there's a play to be made, right? If the homie, so I'm, I'll tell you, one time I was doing the NBA shit and you gave me the Golden State Warriors yes. hat. Yes, the Coney Island Warriors. Yeah, and I yeah. wore it and I got it, I got, I got in trouble for it, yeah, but yeah. I still rocked it. Facts. And uh, that's the only way I could see it making sense, like, to, because you're doing the play. You're yeah, like, yeah, okay, facts, you're going to rock facts. my shit in a very thing where a lot of eyes are going to be on you, then that's fine. But nah, you know what it is? Like, I think it's because, you know, I also have my own brand, but whenever somebody that I, gen I don't genuinely fuck with a lot of people. I genuinely fuck with 10 to 20 people. You know what I'm saying? If I have to do a count, like genuinely, like if they need me, I'm there. If they drop something or my family, I make sure that I pay. I don't ask for discounts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And and like, you know, because I want them to fucking win. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Like my man EG, he got RSO hats. Facts. I don't put nobody else's brand in here. Nobody. This is only fuck your life. Facts. RSO is fuck your life though as well, and I want my man to win. He came up with a clothing brand, a smoking brand. I want that in here. Shout out you know to what RSO. I'm saying? Shout out RSO, Facts. EG, my man. But yeah, mad people already have hit me. Yo, let's do a collab. Nah, somebody just hit me now. Yo, let's talk. Let's let's film one of my episodes of another podcast. Yo, let's let's film in your store. First thing I do. Yo, they follow me. The kid wasn't following me. I said for what? I got my own podcast, and it's more popping than yours. And you don't follow me. Fuck your life. You know what? There's 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 a there's there's an angle that that right there on the bottom level. I I totally agree and totally respect because you know we don't ask any of these big businesses like Target for deals. Yeah, facts. Like You're not that. going to Dior and so, asking for so a discount. So if you're gonna rock a hat, you know, or anything, rock a homie's hat, rock a rock a, some homie shit. You know what I mean? I I think that's the best thing because we do have to kind of continue the narrative of supporting our own and also like. I want to see my friends win. I know we were, we were raised in a cynical time where everybody was like, oh, look at homie across the street and we used to hate on, on each other. And maybe people still do that. But I think if we all elevate each other, it's like when you was in Cali and I found out you, I was like, yo, come here and, and, and come with me and do something because I just want everybody to be in the right look. I want you to win so when you win, whatever, even if I don't got nothing to do with it, down the line I'm looking, I'm like, yes, that's my nigga. You, right you know what it is too, out. everybody in the crew, like let's say Nems or whatever, he has 10 people around him, everybody in the crew got their own niche. You know what I'm saying? So if 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 Ed, if Eggy's uh, got RSO, he got Bud, it doesn't interfere with what he's doing, he got his shit going. He got a lane, I got a lane, you got a lane. Everybody eats, the team gets stronger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if he's doing something, we got to support him. You know, you know what I'm saying? Know, if you're doing I, something, I, we got to support what him. I'm, what I'm it. saying, not, not that you're wrong, is just like, so this is my first time around, right? So not necessarily meaning, even though I know him for a stretch, like whatever he's doing in his world, I, I need, I, I, I want to help elevate in any way, talking right. good about him, just mentioning him, yeah, including facts. him. And that's how you, as a society, if, if you know somebody's a good person, we just want to live. Yeah. I want to see him be great. Why well, I want to hear somebody I don't know be great. Facts. You know I mean, I want to see somebody I know be great. Go out there, shine. Yeah, and facts. if you, and if you push him in the right direction and he gets there, 
he gonna he gonna help you too. Yeah. You know saying you help Nah, that's that's the main thing. That I mean, I mentioned this in mad interviews and everything, but I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Like, it's not fun winning by yourself. It's not fun if I'm the only one winning and my man's ain't winning. What the fuck fun is that? Yeah, what, am I go out by myself? Or if I go out, I got to pay for everybody? Nah, I want everybody to fucking win so we all can ball at the same fucking level. Clap it up for that. Clap it up for that. I'm not, you hear that shit? I'm not doing it for claps. I'm not doing it for nothing. It's like simple. You know what? We all came from the fucking bottom. If I know people that's not from New York, is not familiar with Coney Island, and they think it's like, you know, like just a rise, but Coney Island is it's at the bottom. Game. You hear Bed-Stuy, East New York, Brownsville, Coney Island is the same exact thing, maybe even worse. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gutter, like bro. we came from yeah. the bottom to bottom. Yeah. And when you come from the bottom, your mentality is always... I got to make it before the next man do or hate on the next man. Nah, it's, it's our job to change that whole fucking way of thinking. It's our job to be like, nah, you know what? Everything they taught us was trash. He's biased. You buying something? Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Salute, bro. That's yeah. our job. What's up, my guy? That's our job to fucking to change the narrative and change the way of thinking, bro. Because, right. yo, when I grew up, all my uncles was killers, murderers, robbers, fucking all the wrong things in life. But we grow up thinking like, that's the cool, they were the coolest people. Yeah, yeah, we look up to the you villains know what I'm and saying? shit. Yeah. Nah, hold on, right there, stick on that. So this is something that we learned that was incorrect. Real niggas said a lot of incorrect shit to us. Yeah, it was bad code. Keep it real was wrong, right? Keep it real was wrong. Represent was wrong. Why? Because I went and I, I did bad things for my hood and then I realized this shit got gentrified and we didn't own anything. And that shit really pissed me off. And all the dudes who was keeping it real was doing shit with other dudes, titis and side girls and all that dirty shit. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just start looking at people who are doing right, who are trying to, ri trying to rise, like we was talking about supporting each other. And you know it, if you know the landscape, and if I, got, if I could say anything about y'all over here, See, people come from the bottom and we got to work hard, right? Coney? If a, if a person told me they were, they were from out here, then I knew it, would, it was more of a grind because it was a thing where you, you almost had to prove that you were fucking that extra dude who was out here, who was out there representing. And I'm saying out there as if you're not in here, uh, in this neighborhood. So it's very, it's very tricky. Uh, but salute to everybody out there who come from nothing, that bust their ass, that support their homies, that are doing right. Because, and I say this like this, so I keep it real. My stitches, I got stitches, right? They were for my homie who fucking ran on me. He started some shit, he robbed somebody, and I fucking uh, try to hold him down, and then he fucking ran, and I caught the, the, the rest of it. So that's when I'm saying, like, you know what? I just fuck with people who are doing good things, who are doing right things, who are not only trying to elevate uh, hip hop culture, uh, you know, elevate our our people and all that shit, and make motherfuckers right. laugh. If there's anything yeah, I need right, in my life, right. it's laughing. So yeah, search for that. Man. Right. Yo, you know what? We I want I had Destroy on and fucking I was thinking it's gonna be one of the funniest episodes. Just wound up is wound up being one of the yeah. It's fucking it, no fuck. Oh yeah, you mad? Right. The only could be serious. Yo, you keeping you it real and representing. Mad, mad Yo, you boring, keeping man. it real, son. <laughs> you mad trago. Give me a drink, no yeah, man. Nah, but yo, Nims, I wanted to tell you like. We, we sat down, we talked about expanding a brand years ago. A couple months ago, we was walking down that block over there, and you was talking about they didn't want to sell us the property to get the store. Facts. And now you sitting in front of the store on the block, you know what I'm saying? And it's Facts. the grand opening of your shit. So Facts. when we say it, you're going to see it. You know what I'm saying? Now, That's how we doing that, that shit. shit. Into existence. Yeah. Not, you know what? I, I always just go and go, all right, the next shit, next shit, next shit. I never yeah. really stop. I tried to stop and, like, appreciate and enjoy but i'm always on to the next shit but today i want to just take this like in 2016 i had a fucking white honda accord or 2015 2014 whatever started out the trunk then i got the red honda accord that's when i met six was selling out the bo boxes in the back of my trunk one box had hoodies the other box had hats then I got the Denali, the black Denali truck. I made the store with the TV. Then we had the camel Denali truck, and now we moved it up to the motherfucking yeah. fuck your life store on the fucking block in Coney Island. Bro, I'm proud of you. Block. Like, Bro, I'm you proud of you, man? for real. Like, real you know shit, I'm saying? proud of you, my guy. This is a celebration, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Fact. That's a fact, bro. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yo. He's playing in there? You, you, yo, you, you, know what's, you know what's crazy? Today, I wanted to park in front of here, right? And, and there wasn't no parking. And I'm looking, the whole block is taking over. 
There was one parking spot perfectly, and that was right in front of my cousin's meal. It was Ricky and Takeover, and I said, no, how fitting is that? That, like, the day that we open in this shit, we representing yeah. those well for Ricky and Takeover. I know they would have been here, like, you Happy know, for mad Ricky happy and celebrating, you know what I'm saying? I miss them niggas every day. Yeah, take over would have had his shirt off right now. <laughs> yeah. dead, dead, with man, yo, all your dead, cousins, dead. yo, all your cousins be having no shirt, bro. Yeah, that's, how that, man? that's how we rock. That's how we rock. Yo, how did <laughs> how did these out? How did he Yo, titties and gritty. People think success is overnight, and I've I've I've, I've you know, and, and it's really tough. And I appreciate that you said that story. For somebody, for me, it's hard to appreciate, um, not appreciate, but to bask in like the achievements, right? Yeah, facts. Um. How can you? How, can How do you? I, I said it before, like, on, on, I think I did a podcast. It, it hits me when I'm like, the day of, when I'm in the shower, I tell myself, like, yo, this is what you work for. Enjoy yourself. It, oh, for some reason, that's when I think about it. Every, like, you know, I'm like, all right, I got to handle this. But when I'm in the shower, I'm like, I think about it like, yo, today, don't, don't, don't get overwhelmed. With, 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 yo, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta make sure this. Cause when you throw an event, you're, you're the last one to have fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're making sure everybody else is having it's fun. Like when it's part of being a like, boss. It's yeah. Like when you cook. Yeah, right? It's you, part of being a boss. It's eat. nothing yeah. like when you fucking cook. Bro. You be cooking? Yeah, yeah. what you say when you cook? Yeah, when you cook. You cook? <laughs> 0 for 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like when you cook. Bro, he eats McDonald's every day. Holy yo. shit! So yeah, I, I just. Ginger think, shots. You know, He's a, he tell, tell yourself, you know. Enjoy it. Live in the moment. Tomorrow's not promised. Just like enjoy the hard work that you put in. You know what Let's I'm go. saying? Like, and and that's what we're here for. When the Gorilla Monsoon album was either about to come out or coming out, um, I was like, "Yo, Destroy, manage me." Destroy was like, "Nah." You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I, Destroy really be outside. But Destroy, besides really being outside, is I saw that he really believed in me, even if he wasn't like. Like every day, Nim Jenna man doing this. I saw the genuineness of that he really fucked the, the music. Not just me, with the music and um and now I, he dubbed me, you know what I'm that saying? That was like 2019? That was 20, probably 2018. 2018. So what yeah, do you see? Yo, what do you see the difference between 2018 I'm disappointed. and now? I'm disappointed. <laughs> Why? I'm disappointed. Yeah, His yeah, jeans? Yeah, His yeah. jeans? Yeah. His jeans. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know he what? Over two. He over two. He over two. I would I wouldn't I, I, I'm uh, I move how I move and I, like I said, I, I if if I'm doing something and he's around. Then I'm gonna include him in in the mix as shit from almost every time. Yeah, now nah, Russell Peters reached out to me because of Destroy. He yep. hit me on the ground. Was like, "Yo, you in L.A.? Come to my crib. You you know I'm boys with Destroy. Da da da. You know when somebody says they boys with Destroy, I know you know they pieces of shit just like yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ankle socks. Ankle socks. Ankle socks. I got socks. Shit to Ankle keep socks. Warm now, son. Y'all niggas got me moving like I'm ready to. Yo, hold on, hold on. Let me start. Yeah. Roll the ball. Roll the ball. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> Come on, pass Damn, it. Yo, damn, yeah, right? pass fucking it up. Yo, come on, man. Come on, you want your electricity? Yo, one day I'm driving in LES, bro, in the middle of the winter, bro. I'm like, I see a bunch of fucking motherfuckers in short shorts running. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is these motherfuckers? He's looking at them. He's like this. Destroy is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm a on, so. Hey, yeah. What? Yeah. And it was yeah. fucking yeah. January, bro. They yeah. running across the Williamsburg Bridge. Yeah. That we seen them when I was doing when we did the polar bear. Oh, we yeah, eating yeah. that rolling That's roasted. Fine. They was yeah, talking about them. Take a picture yeah. with us. I'm late oh, night shit. by the fucking Bull of Wall Street. They running to the liquor store. They like, yo. Where y'all running from? So, so, so about 20, a, a bunch of years ago, I did a thing for Nike and I interviewed like one runner. And then he was like, yo, me, my homies. And they were all people I went to clubs with. Like chicks that I did Bogle with and the Butterfly with. And I was like, wait, y'all running? And I literally was like, nah. I, either you just wait for them to come back, you know, because they go on the road. Then you interview them before yeah, yeah, and yeah. after. And I was like, I'm going to just run with y'all. And I liked it. And I really. Like literally. Like literally, I, like literally what was and, like and I had all like Nike. Five, five nah, it was it was it was five or eight. So you could do the five, and then at the fifth, I took my tank top off, and I had everything Nike because I was sponsored. You know what I mean? So, and then I ran, and it was amazing. B, I, I did eight miles my first time, and I had a woman who was like super strong, and she had 
Come on, your name's Destroy! Don't be a bitch! Damn, Macho Man? Bro, she was tough then. She was like, don't be a And I was like, I can't no like, more. I can't. I'm a bitch. And she's like, don't be a bitch. He was like, I got Nike shit. I can do it. I can do it. I can Just do, do, it. It. Just I can do it. it. So that's what happened, man. So yeah, that's the Bridge Runners, man. Really yeah. dope. Yeah, that's that was like, hard. every every year he says he has a beautiful girl waiting for him at the beach. When he, when he does the, the polar bear plunge, the, the, nobody I'm was there. Like, nobody's there. Nobody was there. Dun, 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 dun. My girl wouldn't let me bring anybody. His girl. Huh? My girl wouldn't His let me girl. bring anybody. His girl. Bro, this is got imaginary like the gooch. This girl's like the gooch. Oh. Nobody saw her ever. Fuck your life. Here you go, B. Yo, listen. It's amazing. Like, a lot Before of we end up. this episode, I want to, I want to, look. I got to thank my team. The, the, Staten Island Mex, salute. He's not here because he only shows up when money is involved, when they pay the front end first. Mex Millions. Yeah. Shout out to Busy. Busy Rivera, a.k.a. Glizzy Rivera. Glizzy. He's not here today because he's in L.A. handling business. <laughs> then we got Vinny Lambino, hooked up the Revolt deal, hooked up a lot of other deals. Mini Lake. DJ Stacks. You know what I'm saying? The, you'll never see him. Um, my podcast team, Six Paz. <laughs> and look, for the store, I wouldn't have been able to get this store done if it wasn't for... Mike C, he did the Gorilla Market with me, the pop-up, everything like that. Um, Iron Solomon uh, for having everything together. Six, Six was here every day. Big Steph, a.k.a. Steph Yell. Steph Yell. Steph Yell. Vanguard. Um, like, like, yo, the real friends really came out and helped. Snowman, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm blessed to have uh, just good people around me that want to see me win because it ain't when... You might see me, and it might you might chalk it up to me winning, but it's like 10 other people that helped. It takes a village. Yeah, to, to, to do that win. So my jewel for today, before we get out of here, is you can't do it alone. You know what I'm saying? Don't. I'm a, I'm a loner. I like to do everything. I don't like to ask nobody for nothing. But at the end of the day, you can't do it alone. So form a strong team that's around you, that's going to help you, and uh, keep it real. Keep it real with yourself. If you see that they're funny style of son, cut them off. Keep a positive group around you that's willing, that want to see you win, as well as you seeing them win, and everything put, takes care of itself. Empower. Empower your people. Live your own word. Definitely. Empower, yeah. Empower yeah. your people. Yeah, yeah. yeah talk to them, D. That was the real so shit. A, a lot of people are selfish. There's a lot of egotistical people, you know, or they're uncomfortable asking for help. But when you do have somebody, even if they're just somebody who's just trying to learn or just, just empower them, give them some power and let them know, yo, go run with it. B, I want to see what you can achieve. What can you do? Because you just never know. You probably open up something in their mind where they want to like really take charge. And I, that's, that should that's be what the we title do. for the episode, Empower Your People. Facts. Um, that's fine. What you got to say? Uh, strength and honor. I watched Gladiator and I just thought that was some fly shit to say. Strength and honor. Oh, for 12. <laughs> 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 I watched Spongebob. Yeah, he was like this. That was fire. Right <laughs> yeah, Six, what you got? Yeah. Yo. Uh, Bob the Builder. Wear gloves. Yeah. Bob the Builder, yeah. Wear gloves. Bob the Builder. <laughs> One for 13. <laughs> One for 13. I'm going to make it to the Hall of Fame. Bob the Builder. Yo, we never say all jokes aside because we need the jokes, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody's winning. Everybody in my team that's around us, we all winning. And we all got our own roads, we all got our own lanes, and we come together. When we come together, it looks like this. It's a movie everywhere we go. I love That's it. as real as it gets, you know what I'm saying? So I, I didn't know you before today, mm -hmm. but now I know you. So when we outside, we know each other. You'll awesome. probably be in your shorts running somewhere or whatever. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? With your, your moño in the wind. Your with your moño in the wind with a thong on or whatever. <laughs> but now we know, you know what I'm saying? So, All right. yeah. All right, come on. And we're we getting out of here. We're going to fill the rest of this episode up with B-roll from the grand opening. Come shop 1612 Mermaid Avenue. We're open every day from now on. And if you ain't in New York City, FYL.NYC. Yep. Let's get the fuck Yo, out of here. Can we do it one more time? <laughs> Let's go. Everything I rock got the G on it with gorilla hair. Gorilla hair. Gorilla hair. Everything I rock got the G on it. Everything I rock got the G on it. Don't ever disrespect me. 
ever, 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 ever disrespect Ever, 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 disrespect Ever, 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 ever disrespect me Pussy, don't ever disrespect me, you heard?